Hey, welcome back to the channel. Time for the weekend video. All right, before we get started, we've been talking about the wood stove and I wanted to throw out one other option. <clears throat> the compressed wood block, uh, bio brick, there's all kinds of companies that are uh, making these. These are a good option if you don't have access to dry firewood or you just don't have time. You can stop at any local hardware store. Uh, they burn for about six or seven hours per block and they put off a pretty uniform heat. Uh, it's not like you can get overloaded and you're going to get overheated in the shack. Uh, another thing is the packaging, they're pretty waterproof so you can toss it in the shack. Um, if they are open, you're going to want to put those in something if you leave for the weekend. Uh, but <clears throat> one package, you know, for about five bucks is going to get you an entire weekend of ice fishing. You're not going to spend time splitting wood. Uh, they're small enough so they slide right in the stove and a long, consistent burn. All right, so a lot of you know that I love fishing for rainbow trout, especially from the boat, uh, but definitely like targeting them when we're on the hard water as well. Uh, we've got some really special techniques. Um, rainbows don't have a very big mouth on them, uh, and although they will eat bait, uh, we found it's not really their food of choice. So we're generally fishing for them in less than eight feet of water. Sometimes we're even, you know, in six or eight inches of water, um, which good old fashioned night crawler. Um, they work wonders and I want to show you how we set up because we set up a little different than I would say most people do. First and foremost, uh, we use a hook looks a little different. Um, these are on the market, a whole bunch of different names. See if I got a couple packages here. They make them in different sizes. Um, Mustad makes one. They're Ultra Point, and that's the Super Death Hook. Um, my favorite, though, come from eBay. Uh, Gary's Tackle, and these are the Slow Death Hooks. Uh, I know there's a one called the Spin Drift. Anyway, these hooks are designed to make a bait spin in the water. Well, we use them for a little bit different reason when we're ice fishing. Um, we like the presentation that it gives in the water rather than just a gob of night crawlers uh, on an eagle claw hook. So, I also carry a bunch of these in my tackle box. Basically, it's a hot glue gun needle, uh, very small tip there, and we'll show you what that's for. All right, so we get loaded up with a night crawler, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to take that needle and start in the back. I would say about two thirds way down. We're going to slide that needle right up through this worm. Ends up going on just like that. We're then going to take our hook and slide that right into the needle, pulling a little tension. See if I can get this into focus here. And pulling the line tight down at the base of the needle, you can then grab that worm and slide it right on to the hook. So this is what that's going to do for you, is you're not going to have a big gob of night crawlers on there. Another little trick that we like to use is we like to fish close to bottom because we're fishing shallow water. So we've got a, a slide weight 
on here. And a lot of times we'll take this worm from here and we'll put that needle in the very tag end of that worm and we will force a little bit of air into that. And what that's gonna do, this weight's gonna sit on bottom and this worm is gonna float up and it's gonna, you can actually set the distance by where your weight is set. Um, so the, but this is not gonna be sitting right on bottom. It will kind of float around. You can inject that air anywhere you want to help that worm sit in any way you want in the water. We just feel that this is a much better uh, presentation than a gob of night crawlers on a hook. A lot of times we will pinch this tag end off so you don't get a pesky little brook trout in there uh, biting at the tag end. Um, so the size hooks we use are kind of large. We use the one aught for rainbow fishing. We do go to a smaller hook if we're gonna do this, fish shorelines for brook trout. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions on this, please shoot me a, or leave me a comment. Uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions as to where you can get these hooks. Um, they're not readily available in Maine. There are a couple places I normally have to order them in. The walleye fishermen uh, use them and we're gonna actually uh, do a video like I said this is one of the hooks that we use a lot of times uh, in our trolling and I'm going to show you that set up uh, very shortly anyway thanks for watching and uh, let me know how you make out